Each of our mine sites have a fleet of these ultra-class haul trucks. They consume between two and a half to 3,000 litres of diesel per day. By converting these trucks to hydrogen, we'll be eliminating up to 80% of the emissions associated with diesel on each mine site. If you take a step back and look at what we're trying to do, it is nuts. It's like a three-story off-road vehicle that needs a neighborhood amount of power to run itself. So solving this problem of converting a haul truck to run on hydrogen is tremendously difficult. We will go to the haul truck, we'll pull out the old diesel power plant and replace it with our new hydrogen fuel cell uh, power plant. The technical challenges are enormous. It's not an iteration on an existing design. This is a completely new solution to a problem. The real trick is to get it working inside of a vehicle that wasn't designed for it. Everything around me that we are building for this hydrogen truck power plant is for a single truck. And that power plant is gonna output two megawatts. Two megawatts is enough to power a thousand homes from one power plant that's going in one truck. I think we lose sight of the magnitude of the potential change that we can make on a day-to-day -day basis because we're in the thick and the slog of whatever the problem is of the day. This is, this is the one that keeps me up at night. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like a start over almost. Every once in a while, when you actually can crack a beer open and you can actually reflect, it's like, this is crazy. But it's a good kind of crazy. We have a real chance here to make a big difference. And if we do this right, it'll be the first of many like this. It sounds pretty simple to say that it's just fuel cells and batteries. A fuel cell and a power converter have been put together before. Eight of them in parallel have not. The final proof of concept test is a big deal. It's about seeing how eight fuel cells, a massive radiator, and seven very, very large lithium batteries all work together. So once we dry out... So tonight is the culmination of a pretty substantial test campaign. This is the first time we've demonstrated all these things working together at once. So it'll be uh, pretty exciting. Are you all ready for HVDC? Any, any reason not to proceed to that at this point? 20 years from now, gas cars are probably going to be in the minority. Heavy mining trucks, mass transit, things like that. They could all be hydrogen powered. You good? OK. Ready, set, 1.5. Yep. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. If we succeed with hydrogen fuel cell technology, we will raise the bar for what we can do and what we should do. And 1.5. Go ahead. Now. And then set voltage to 970. 970 now. That has the potential to have a ripple effect that's way bigger than our company and way bigger than any single project. Hold. One, two, three, four. Five. Looks like we're holding steady. Do we do it? It's, that's a POC power plant. Uh, <laughs> now that we've done the testing, the power plant's heading out to fulfill its life in South Africa. We're using a giant crane to lift it, put it on the, the shipping frame, and it's going to be on its way to Mahalakwena. One of the things maybe I'm guilty of is not celebrating those wins, like when we get into the truck and we power the wheels for the first time, and then when it gets first motion and it gets its first payload in it. For me, the journey's a lot further away, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely many small wins along the way.